talk. Uh, it's been kind of a slow blues week, but like, you know, some shit has happened, so let's jump right in to the shits. The first thing I want to talk about is Kanye West. Oh, man. Mr. West is back at it again. Again. Kanye West filed a lawsuit against Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records, claiming his work on the blueprint helped revitalize Jay-Z's career. I, 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 I beg to disagree because uh, Jay-Z's career, first of all, Jay-Z, his career already had like full momentum. If you were, if you did or did not work on the blueprint, he, he was still going like, he was still going to prevail. He was still going to go forward. He was still going to progress. So like, I don't really think that you helped revitalize his career. Like, I'm, I'm tired of waking up and seeing Kanye in the, in, in the tabloids and media because it's like, Every time he's in the tablets or the media is for anything positive, it's always just something negative or some outlandish shit. It's crazy that we at this point with Kanye because I used to be a Kanye fan, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really used to be a Kanye fan. So, like, all his behavior lately with him being on social media and attacking people and, uh, you know, him and, and ch supporting Trump and all that shit, like, it is, it, it, it's, it's it, it, it upsets me. Uh, it, it upsets me that we got this. We got this low in your career. If he was to wake up tomorrow and change and just like apologize for all the shit that he did for the last few years, it's still not going to erase everything. You know what I'm saying? So, Kanye. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm tired of talking about Kanye. So, moving on. For those who don't know about Justice Smollett, uh, what happened with him recently? He he recently got attacked by two. Man, two white men by Chicago the other day, and it, they said that it's a possible hate crime, but it wasn't hate crime. But as a matter of fact, the incident occurred around 2 a.m. upon the actor's arrival in Chicago from New York City. Sources tell TMZ that Smollett was on his way to Subway for a late night snack when someone yelled, "Aren't you that f word?" on Empire N word. The two men were identified as white men in ski masks. Then attacked Smollett. Although the actor fought back, the men overpowered him and fractured his rib. In addition to the brutal beating, the men reportedly put a noose around Smollett's neck and poured bleach on him and screamed, This is MAGA country before they fled the scene. The incident is under investigation as a battery and possible hate crime. Possible hate crime. This wasn't hate crime. Like, like y'all, y'all, it's, it's right here. Like, this dude was just out minding his business. Like, he wasn't bothering nobody. He wasn't being problematic. And. He just got attacked by two Trump supporters. And like, it's crazy, it's crazy. And how I feel about the situation is, it, it's fucked up. It's fucked up that, you know, people still live, like people gotta be worried to step out the house because they'll get attacked for them being who they are. People being part of the LGBT community is bad for them because they always gotta go through that shit. And my thing is, I'm a different kind of nigga. I don't care what you decide. I don't care what another nigga decides to do with his penis. It's not my problem. That's never been my problem. It's never been my business. What you wanna do is whatever you wanna do. That is not my business. As long as you happy, what the fuck do I gotta complain for? You gotta respect everybody for who they want, for what they wanna do, who they wanna do, and who they wanna love. Like, don't, I, I, like I said, I don't care as long as you're happy, that's fine. A lot of people just need to learn how to respect everybody for what they want to do and their preference of anything. I don't respect a racist or a rapist. I don't respect none of that shit, man. Like, all y'all get the fuck out of here. Oh, and Satanism, nah, nah, like, nah. My prayers go out to you that you, you know, have justice and, you know, you recover. Cause that's some fucked up shit, man. The bleach, ble uh, uh, no, bleach? This is MAGA country. Like, what the fuck? Like, fuck MAGA country. Fuck y'all and fuck y'all president. Like, I, I don't understand why everybody's trying to make it seem like... And then I see on Twitter like, oh, Donald Trump did such and such for our country and, 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 and so quick. First of all, he ain't do shit. He got people out here going to work, not making no money. They don't want to stop showing up to work because if they stop showing up to work, they'll lose their job. And, you know, in hopes that when the government opens back up, they're able to get their pay. You know what I'm saying? They able to pay their bills. People out here, their cars get repossessed. They can't pay their rent. They, it's all this other shit going on. Like, and y'all want to talk about this is an country? Y'all niggas still bigging this nigga up. Niggas is being, niggas is might go homeless now. Their cars getting repossessed. They can't pay their bills. They life being shut off. Kids can't find their clothes. Kids can't eat. Like, and y'all talking about some uh, like he, he's, he, he's doing such and such for the country. Like, fuck y'all, fuck y'all, fuck y'all, president. Yeah, as you can clearly see, like I'm over. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of talking about this uh, yeah, but the government opened back up after three weeks. Like, 
you're not doing like you're not doing nothing great. Like yeah, like you know it's open back up, but it's only for three weeks and then you gonna shut that shit down again, and then niggas gonna keep like being in despair and just like whatever, man. Fuck you. I'm on Twitter, right? And I see like an interview with some girl. Uh, <laughs> I see an interview with Tiana Trump, and, and, and like yo. What made y'all want to get into porn? Why don't you go first on this? <laughs> well, I was in high school and I was a major whore. Like when I was a senior, I had 86 sex partners. 86? Yeah. So oh, like hold on. Shit. 86 bodies, that is a whole lot. That's a whole fucking lot. Like, how you just, how you just, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, that, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Like, I, I, I know a lot of well-known hoes. They're not even at that level. And you did a whole lot of screwing after that, too. We talking about high school now. You had 86, 86 lovers in high school. And I'm pretty sure you did a whole lot of schooling after that too. So like, what, what, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, I don't know man, I don't know. Segment on music, segment on music. Uh, my man's Boogie. Boogie happens to be a rapper. I'm not talking about A Boogie, I'm not talking about artists, I'm talking about Boogie. I'm talking about West Side Boogie. <laughs> so Boogie dropped an album called Everything's For Sale. Um, before I go any further, this album has to be like one of the best albums that I heard. Like as of recently, you know what I'm saying? Like, and everybody's know that I'm big on rap. Everybody know I'm big on music. I'm a fan of music, you know. Period. Like I'm, I'm a very, I'm very big on music. So this album right here, like, is really, 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 really something to get into. I'm very new to the world of boogie, but this album right here, it made me a fan because I appreciated the the concept. I appreciated the structure. I appreciated the uh, vulnerability. I appreciated the story. I appreciated the content. Like I really appreciate content that has, you know, a, a, a message in the story. This album it had a lot of structure. It had a lot. It had a flow, and it was very different from all the albums that I've heard as of recently. The rainy days. I don't know why, but a lot of people they didn't fuck with the song. I guess because the M's verse. He said something about a, a shepherd having sex with a sheep. Like that's the shit that kind of stood out to a lot of people. And it was like I'm not fucking with this shit, but I fucked with. I fucked with the album. I fucked with every track. I can't even say that I got favorite tracks on the album, but like every track on there stood out to me. Every track on the album was fire from the beginning to the end. If you were soulfully jiggy nigga like myself, like you would really enjoy this album. And I give this a five. I give this a five stars. Cause I like I said, I appreciated the vulnerability. I appreciated the, the, the story, the message. I appreciated the structure. I appreciated the substance. I appreciated everything about this album. The production was great. And I feel like for this to be like your first like label album, bro, like this this shit is like this shit is amazing. Like it's crazy. Like I don't really talk about people's music like this, but like this shit was amazing. Like I fucked with it and I keep listening to it. I kept, I've been listening to like the last few days. This album is fire, like one of the best albums that I've heard. And if you say Anything otherwise, bro, I can't trust your word. I can't trust anything else that you say. And I can't trust your judgment in music. Trash. Whatever. We gotta talk about Don Q and Tory Lanez. We cannot let we cannot let we cannot go any further without talking about that shit. So Tory Lanez, he has been wanting to smoke with a whole bunch of these rap. Like he been wanting to smoke with everybody. You know what I'm saying? He said they hold out rap any of these rappers. He said something around that. And then all I know is Don Q, he dropped a diss track towards Tory Lane. Spitting just like me, speak up if I'm lying. You told me that you watched my freestyle hundreds of times. Guess that's why you sound like me in a couple of lines. You said memories don't die, my memory don't lie. You literally went up there and mimicked me the whole time, putting niggas on the list. You tell the world it's false, but when I sent you backstage, you admitted to the shit. Perfect example of a nigga trying to work up a scandal. You ain't never played the first with the samples. Turning yay to rock, since yay was on the rock, working with samples. Pick the wrong person to amp you in front of this audience. This is gonna be some shit. I listened to this track, it was fire, it kept me like on my toes. I'm like, yo, I wanna see what Tori gonna say, cause you know Tori gonna respond. He said, go smoke any of these niggas. So I wait for him to respond. He responded. He tempted me, but never had this energy for Kodak. You paid Dream Doll for a feature to get the pussy. And somehow you think you fucking with me. The first night I seen Dream Doll, I fucked her for free. And now you walk around like somehow you got one up on me. Nigga, please, this your brother part. This nigga found Soldier Boy, Gucci headband, and Ward in his cover art. Why I battle with a boogie shadow? Why I battle with a boogie shadow? He ain't even a chapter. Then, 
Dream Dog drops a diss track towards Tory Lane. Late, I met Tory, had a meat in my box Eating my ass, he tried to suck my feet through my socks uh, Don't ever say my name on the record, you trying to get props dumb? Cause the day I feel disrespected, I make you my ops uh, I put that pussy on your, your head, head in the bed Up and down, round and round, had Beijing all in my legs Ew. And that's word to my mother nigga Only nigga I ever fucked that one of the threesome with another I nigga Oh, now wait a goddamn minute Wait a goddamn minute So, you mean to tell me that like, oh shit Oh shit. I know he's probably going to respond to this in some type of way. Cause Tory Lanez, he wants smoke with every fucking body. This nigga done said that he'll battle rap anybody in Dreamville just to get the cold. The only thing I'm gonna say about that Dreamville situation is this. I'll take the whole Dreamville out by myself. And if I Damn. do that, then you gotta give me cold. That's all I'm saying. I'll take I'll take I'll take the JID, the, the bass nigga, the, the cars, whoever them niggas. Them niggas can rap, all, bro. I don't give a fuck what they can do. I take all three of them niggas myself. And then you can <laughs> give me the um. Yo, you <laughs> this thing, nigga. I, that's, that's my bargain, though. I love the confidence. niggas can't even be mad at me. It's like it's like I had to go through the under the under bosses before the boss. Alright, like I, I understand, you know, when you when it's about your craft, you have to be confident. You have to go with that mindset, like, you know. I'm great, and, and I'm, I'm very more than capable of doing this shit. But Dreamville, Cole, like, honestly, I do want him to, like, get into a with Cole because I want to see how this shit is going to work. I want to see, like, what, like, <laughs> I want to see how this is going to go because you know Cole come with the fire. You know it. Like, you know Cole come with the fire. Tory Lanez, he's good, too. He's good, too. So I want to see how that's going to work because I want to see this shit happen. I wanna see niggas battle rap. I wanna see niggas get into it, slander, grit. And whenever niggas get into rap battles, man, do not miss no shit about no streams, about no sales, about no fucking numbers. Rap is fucking rap. Rap is rap. Like, when you get into it with niggas and battle rap, you're not gonna talk about, oh, like, numbers and streams and sales and all that shit. Imagine listening to Triple X and his family, uh, Ex's girl had her baby, um, and yeah, like I know that it's like a big thing for his family because it's like that piece of him that's that's there, and you know, it's, it's unfortunate that he's not here to you know take like you know see his child, take care of his child. But, you know, like I said, like you know, it's it's also good for the family that that piece of him is here because you know grief, grief, man, grief is a motherfucker. So yeah. Oh, and before I go. I just want to say, man, thank y'all, like, thank y'all, aka the people who are watching this, <laughs> like, anybody who watching this, like, I want to say thank you to the very few people who've been rocking with me this whole, for the last five weeks since I started this shit, man, like, it's, it's been, it's been, it's been entertaining, I'm not gonna lie, like, I really enjoy getting up on here every week and talking shit and giving people the real, like, I appreciate the people who, who, who watch, comment, subscribe, I appreciate the people who share my shit. I appreciate the people who who repost it. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support, all that, all the accolades. <laughs> I appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting. And man, like I like I said, man, thank y'all for rocking with me. I'm trying to you know go further, put Jersey on the map, cause Jersey we don't get that much you know recognition. Like we get we got so many people here with a whole bunch of talent, and we don't get no recognition for anything. So you know I'm. Going hard, pushing these videos, trying to make shit happen, trying to put Jersey on the map. But yeah, you know, once again, thank y'all for uh, rocking with me for these last five weeks. So yeah, uh, that's it for the fifth episode of Mars Talk. I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. You know, like I said, like it wasn't that much to really talk about, but yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that much to really talk about. So this video was kind of brief. But yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Do whatever the hell you want to do. <laughs> whatever the hell you want to do. I'll see y'all next week, episode six. And yeah, that's the wrap, man. I'm out.